All right, so if you can hear the cicadas, I do apologize for that. I usually try to record at a different point in the day to avoid them, but the point of this video is important to make, and we have storms coming, so I gotta do it now. Parts variants. I've talked about this in previous videos too, and I will link the video where I talk about the parts variants in depth, but suffice to say, I created a resource over on the Discord, which is free to join, by the way, called the Parts Variant Form, and that form exists with the sole purpose of aiding buyers and sellers on BrickLink, but also aiding mockists who want to understand when there are variations between colors that may not be listed on BrickLink for, you know, any number of reasons. But for example, if you wanted a piece like this and you really want a piece with this dark green color, you have that as an option. Rather, if you want something with a mata green kind of coloration to it, you understand that both of these are available and that these are common variants, both of which can appear in any set, right? So after plugging that, I wanted to talk about another variant that a member on my Discord server actually discovered because it's not one that I'd ever paid attention to, not because I don't have these parts. In fact, I have both of them, but just because I've never really experienced experimented or explored these parts to a great detail. And they are some technic based parts from some CCBS sets that came out in the Star Wars line in like the mid to late 20 teens, right? This piece specifically from 2015 and this piece from 2016, which on first glance might look identical, but they're not. And you can probably see at least one difference immediately right? This pinhole on the side here, which is absent from the revised version from 2016. Now, I'm not sure exactly why that is, why take a pinhole away when it was included in the first place, because A, it makes it kind of difficult to work with these pieces sometimes because you can get them mixed up in the secondhand market, right? But also at the same time, was it necessary to remove that pinhole in any term in at least what I can see, that adds functionality, right? Having an extra connection there means you have that connection available for use. But this isn't even the weirdest thing to me because one other thing that this older version has is an axle hole at the top that can be pushed all the way through. So the axle can go all the way through it. However, the revised version of the piece, the axle cannot go all the way through because there is a stopper built into the very end of it. Not only can an axle not go all the way through, but a bar can't go all the way through either. Why? What is the purpose of this? Now, maybe I'm missing something here, but I've never seen these pieces prone to breaking in those positions. So the only thing my mind jumps to is maybe Lego just simplified the mold for kids, right? Make sure that kids didn't get mixed up with what connection goes where. But being that that is a pinhole and the other connections on this piece, are all axle holes or bar or bar holes, it's difficult to mix that up with other uh, types of connections, right? And it is expensive to revise a mold. Like this kind of stuff is not cheap. They can cost tens of thousands of dollars for Lego to do it. So it's worth weighing those options, right? So then I have to ask myself, what would have been the purpose to remove this then? What would have been the purpose to remove functionality? It's usually easier, though not always easier, to add functionality to a piece. And so it makes my mind jump back to, is this something we've seen before? Because like, yeah, Lego molds do get revised on occasion, absolutely. But the most recent ones that I can really think of from Lego Technic are pieces like these, right? which look the same because they basically are, functionally are, but they are different from the top. And they're actually different slightly functionally because the revised version, and I've made a video talking about this piece too and why I don't like it, has nothing to do with the aesthetic, but it has to do with those pinholes not having the same amount of friction that the old ones did. They're inconsistent, and I don't like that, right? However, a different version of a revised mold, and in this case, I think probably for the better, is this one right here. I'm trying to keep black as the revision and blue as the classic version just to keep it visually consistent here, right? But you can see that these edges have been kind of tapered down and that actually is helpful because it allows for axles to pass directly beneath this in certain types of builds where this version prevents it. Both of these pieces are notably fragile at the axle hole anyway, which is just typically the case of thin Lego Technic pieces in general. So that's something that thankfully has mostly been sorted out by Lego, but it's still interesting. I can understand revisions like that for visual consistency, revisions like that for added functionality in the case of that triangular piece, but revisions like this to take functionality away. The only thing I can think of is to make it easier for kids to build with. 
because if there's only three connections on it or only four connections or only five connections but they all get used in very specific ways it's hard to mix them up whereas when you have that extra pinhole well if you connect it to a character's hand or you connect it to somewhere else on a character whatever the case may be or you insert the wrong piece there you could have pieces fall out pieces get lost i get it but I don't understand it, at least not here, not with this piece specifically. So what am I missing here? Is there something wrong with me? Am I missing something? Let me know in the comments. And what is your favorite example of a revised piece from LEGO? Because it definitely has happened. It's happened in LEGO System. It's happened in LEGO Technic. It's happened even in Bionicle as well. What's your favorite? What's your least favorite? And let me know down in the comments below your answers to those. But of course, if you want to take this conversation further, you could check out that Discord down linked in the description below. And you can also check out the parts variant form there. Instagram, Patreon are also there as well. Now I've got some storms to prepare for. So, all right, take care.